In this session, we're going to discuss the navigation of the survey dashboard. I'm currently on the CMix launchpad, also called the project list. This is a list of all the projects that I have access to. If I wanted to go to the survey dashboard for any one of them, I can just click on the project name and I will go directly to the manage and monitor tab of this particular project. Here I have a project timeline, some fielding stats, and access and permissions. You'll see the menu on the left hand side is identical to the one that you saw on the CMix launchpad uh, right next to the project name. It's just oriented vertically in order to save some room. It's broken up into four distinct areas. Programming, Fielding, Data and Reporting, and Admin. We'll go into separate sessions for each one of these particular areas, but I'll just give you a brief overview. Build and Edit will open up the Survey Authoring tool. This is where you actually program your survey. The Markup Editor is an XML format of the survey in which you can program outside of the UI and just use an XML based format to program. Preview and test is just a link to to test your survey with some testing tools to be able to QA it. Tasks is an interactive way to collaborate with your colleagues on a particular project. It's a handy one that most other survey authoring tools do not have. Um, and once you see the, that particular session, I believe you'll enjoy that very much. The review outline is a one page scrolling document of everything you've programmed, including your questions, question settings, logic, quotas, um, pretty much anything that you've programmed on your survey will appear here in a one page scrolling document, which is searchable. Validate data is the area in which you would go for things such as generating test data, reviewing test data, uh, you can also use that to review live data as well, uh, but it'll give you basic counts and percents. That way you'll be able to verify things like skip patterns, filtering, and that sort of thing. Fielding uh, gives you a link to all of your survey links uh, here. Uh, this would be if you had multiple sample sources and or combinations of multiple languages. This would give you a link for each individual one and you'd have access to all of them in one place. Any quotas you might have set up is the next one. Uh, fielding stats um, just gives you some basic statistics on your project. Terms and dropouts will give you uh, that exact thing. It'll give you a, a table with all of your terminations and your abandons. This is always going to be sorted in descending order, so you'll know exactly what the highest items are by default. In the data and reporting section, you'll have a link to interactive reporting. This will sync your data from CMix into MarketSite. That tool is very, very robust and will be able to give you the ability to create cross tabs, um, dashboards, PowerPoint exports that you can use for deliverables to your end client and so forth. Inspect and Edit Records will give you the ability to search and review answers for any given individual respondent. Bulk Update will give you the ability to recode data as necessary. Export Files is where you would go to be able to download data uh, and or any other type of export file functions and features that we have available. And then admin uh, also gives you the an activity log, which will log the majority of the items that happen throughout your project lifecycle. Towards the top, you'll see that your survey name or project name appears. If, for instance, I am looking for another project, or maybe I clicked on this project by accident, I can just click on this drop down and I can search for another project that I have access to without having to go back to the project list. Just really a shortcut to be able to let you navigate around a lot quicker. You'll also notice right next to the project name, there's a little gear icon. And in this particular case, it's flagged as being in design. 
if I click on this project settings gear icon, this is where you can change your survey status. So let's say I want to change from design to test, test to live, live to closed, or any combination um, back and forth, I can do so and click on save. You also do have the ability to download the project fielding stats from this location as well. And that has been a review of the navigation for the survey dashboard.